Matt Reeves just tweeted some photos of the Batmobile with Batman standing next to them. And unlike the recent photos that were leaked from the set, these are official pictures. So presumably we're seeing things in the best light. So there were three pictures that were released. One is kind of a top-down view. One is sort of angled from behind. And one is directly from behind the Batmobile. I'll just throw out Alon some of my observations, then I want to hear what, what you thought of these. So first off, the car looks very sleek, and it looks like a normal car where the Batman touches are pretty subtle. In fact, that's one of the things I liked about it, but on the other hand, if you took this car out of the context of Batman standing next to it, I don't know that I would know just by looking at it that it was supposed to be the Batmobile, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, it's also, um, Batman is in all the photos, so we do get another look at his suit. Because the picture is so dark and it's kind of far away, it's hard to get a really good look at the suit. But this picture does confirm that Batman will have a cape, which in the set photos he didn't have one. I'm assuming for safety reasons. And it's hard to see some of those nuances that we saw in the close-up pictures where close up you can kind of see how the suit looked pretty piecemeal and almost looked like a prototype i'm not saying that's not there in this picture but it's kind of hard to see alone what are your thoughts on uh do you like the the kind of subtle look to the batmobile or do you miss the uh tim burton very obvious batman batmobile i i like the subtle approach i think uh these days if you try to go too much like the Tim Burton version. It could get a little cheesy. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a, a Charger to me. Right. Uh, you know that car? I don't know anything about cars. So <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to nod my head and be like, yeah, 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 Charger. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then regarding the suit, if you zoom in a little bit, his ear, I mean, it might be too low quality to tell, but his ears look like they might be a little pointier than they looked in that first image. Yeah, I was gonna say that I really wanted to ask you because I know you were pretty down on Batman's ears in that first picture. So I wanted to check back with you and say, you know, now you can see it a little bit more in context. I thought they looked a little bit better here. Yeah, I agree. Uh, however, it is still low quality, so maybe that who knows? We gotta get a higher res close up version. Right, and uh, also the um, so getting away from his suit for a second, there's that one picture which is directly behind the Batmobile, and I guess the engine, whatever that thing is in the back of the car, looks crazy. It almost looks like an angry robot face, <laughs> and I'm assuming that this Batmobile is capable of some things besides just driving. Maybe we'll see some of what we saw in Batman Begins, where it can't quite fly, but it can kind of launch itself from one building to another. And in that same picture, you get another quick shot of Batman's suit. And I will say, his arms still look a little funny to me. The kind of gray part of his arms right before his hands looks, uh, I don't know, a little bit cheesy. But again, we've got to kind of see it in motion to properly judge. Those are just his web shooters. <laughs> Alon doesn't know what movie we're watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any other thoughts on Batman, the new Batmobile? You still excited for this movie? Uh, yeah, still has potential in my mind. All right, cool. So first look at the Batmobile looks good. Batman suit, jury's still out, but we're cautiously optimistic. 